And now what did they do with this new AI capability in the Pixel phone? They've got a bunch of new features. So these are beyond what I've been imagining the, uh, you know, sort of improvements of Siri would be on my iPhone. Okay, they have proact it's called a, a, a feature called Magic Q, proactive suggestions based on the user context, meaning it's watching what you're looking at and what you know you're doing with the phone, whether you're using the camera and so on. And it is now going to give you with a local AI, not not sending this back to the to the cloud now, what with a local AI running on that chip, it's going to give you proactive suggestions based on that context, what you're doing there. Okay, they're they're delivering real-time on-device translation. Okay, I, I went to Japan about a year ago and I used Google Translate every day to just say something into the phone and then wait for Google to translate it and then show them on the screen what, what it was. And they would read it and then they go, oh, and they 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 speak it back. And then I turn back the phone and listen to it, or not listen to it, but read what the translation was. That was very janky. This is going to do real-time on-device translation, meaning as you, you can have an earbud in with the phone, and as they're speaking, it's it's telling you in English what it's what is being said.